Welcome back everyone. Tomorrow I'll be able to show you the final battle. We are there, but we do need to prep for it. It's going to be difficult and not only that, quite epic. What I'll do tomorrow, I'll come over here and show you every cinematic sequentially. It'll be like watching a little short film before the final fight. Alright, let's go look over here. Mad Dog Marty. There's an enemy or two for you to kill, right? Yeah, right over here. You'll go for the treasure. I've got over here Luther Harkon. Let's have you join up now. Come on in. There we go. Luther will come over here to Pox Marsh and wait. I've got only how many more turns? Two more turns to go until I'm able to recruit a Necrofex and over here a Rotting Leviathan. Okay, Felicia Coughlin, you're going away for now. I'll be able to make a lot more money. Thank you so much. Maggie Blanksell, you need more money in order to get another cove. Correct. All right, come over here and wait. Oh, and later today, look forward to Count Noctilus. I did a vote, and many of you want to see him in action. Now, I did a little test. I timed my intern time for Mortal Empires and for the Vortex campaign. 15 seconds in the Vortex campaign, 50 in Mortal Empires, and I turned off all the camera options and all of that. Which is why I don't want to play Mortal Empires for a little while. Not only that, you don't really get to interact with another continent for a very long time, not until late in the game, because usually you have to fight all of your neighbors, especially if you're in the old world. I've tried it many times. But the Vortex campaign has a lot of interesting tiny factions. So I think from now on, and I will probably have one or two exceptions in the future, I'll play the Vortex campaign, especially as a non-Vortex faction. Or if I can get a mod to turn off the main Vortex game, then I'll do that. Or what we can do is ignore it until the very end, fight everyone else, then fight our own major battle. But we can play it like a domination game mode. All right, two toes, Adley, you're doing your own thing. And you can always give me your two cents on any topic that I bring up in a video. I do like to talk about it. Centuries in command, now complete it. What technology do I want now? Well, I know. If I get reinforced carcasses over here, my major units will be much more durable in combat. 20% of their damage, gone. At least when it comes to melee damage. For magic, well, Luther Harkon's got that covered too. Wendy, what am I going to give you? Kidnapping. That would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll take kidnapping. Such methods are blunt and crude in the extreme, but still very effective. What we can do, we can prep up for the final fight. Trust me, we're going to need to. Did I lose anyone completely? I did not. Very good. It's a minor fight. You don't have loyalty to worry about. Well, take gold then. I could use more gold. Now we have more income coming from my buildings for quite a few turns and a forbidden rod, which I probably won't use. I don't need any damage in combat. Very good. I might have you go after Mad Moldson. He's an old man who we keep beating up. I feel like he forgets he shouldn't be here. Go on account. Okay, raised dead will be cheaper. We'll be able to recruit one more unit and we get one more higher recruit rank. There is a time in every sailor's her life when the black flag seems like the best, if not the only option and Robbie the creeper you'll be over here yeah we'll have custom names and potentially backstories tomorrow for or today for count Noctilus if you're a patron you get to name a character like that it's a way to kind of give back to those who support the channel and all that good stuff so a big shout out to all of you who've been helping me out like that okay we could have you go fight him easily but I do want my Rotting Leviathan right now. The cool part is, if you ever lose your Major Admiral, you'll keep every ship you build or every addition to your ship that you built. You don't have to worry about that. If you did, oh man, that would be awful. Then you couldn't lose one battle or you would lose it all. Which isn't really fun, is it? Okay, Rotting Leviathan. We finally get one. I was just about to. Were you? I know I was about to. Very good. I'll probably recruit a few other units too. Let me look at what we have. Two, three, four, five. Five total. These guys over here are very strong when fighting other melee units, but even my pole arms are very strong on their own. I could get rid of you too. 
think instead I'll get rid of you and these two over here. All right. I'm going to pick up a Necrofex. I could get two. That would be fun. I think that would be a lot of fun. I kind of want a Gunnery White. They do have an ability that will replenish ammunition, which could be quite good for my artillery. You know what? I like that idea. Dark Majesty. Hello there. Ah, here we go. Which one do I want? Ah, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha can cause someone to potentially miscast and I like that idea a lot. Let's go look at what you have real quick. Cackle fruit, always ready. Okay, that'll help you out. A blunderbuss shot. Oh yeah, that'll be good too. More range. Okay, cackle fruit. I'll give you that. Powder keg, dead eyes, very good. Take that want you to have your utility belt for later. Sam Jenkins, you're going to join Obey Luther's army. Okay, the Vampire Coast is over here. What else do we have? That's really it. I could wait. I do want to build a cove. Master. Let's end our turn now. Or are you ready to move, Mad Dog? You're not ready to move, no. You'll wait there and move later. I'll probably have him go after Mad Mulleton. I'll auto resolve minor battles, even though we might lose a unit or two, because right now we're waiting to fight the big fights. I can go do my slam gold quest line too. That'll be nice to have. The Blessed Dread. He's done all right until like the third act. Now he's not doing too well at all. Though eats us finally falling apart at least a little bit. I'm not sure if I want to cut a deal with you, or... Just cut you? Yeah. You don't really have any friends at all, so I don't really care about you. Goodbye. The Blue Vipers really aren't doing too much. Who is conquering them? Let me go look at that after it's my turn again. There's a lot of rogue armies around. Good me. Goodness me. Ah, yeah, look at that. Techless, you're making a comeback. Holy cow. He's doing all right over here. He's beating the blue vipers a lot. Look at all my coves around. <laughs> Sing the songs of death. Dear God, look at that army. What a funny one. Okay, Mad Dog, we're going to have you come over here. Ooh, who's over here? Gentleman Jenkins again. We might go beat him too. It would be a great way to train up our major army. There we are. Okay, let's have another turn end now. We're getting ready. I did lose my Mourn Ghouls. Ah, here we go. One Necrofex for me. What if I had two? Oh, you're tempting me here. If I get rid of my bombers, I could have two. Which one would be better for me? My bombers or my necrofex times two? Yeah, that'll work. Then I have room for one more unit. I'm going to take my Morn Ghouls up. I've been waiting for them. That'll be a great big army. Now let's go look at Maggie. He's way over here. 9,500 gold. I'll have to wait a minute until I'm able to pick that up. Let's end our turn again. By hook or sword, they'll All right, Mad Dog, you'll be ready in a turn. You'll go fight Mad Mulleton again. I would like to hunt down the other famous pirates in order to get their doubloons, in order to have more units unlocked for me. I do like that. You fight another army in order to unlock an interesting one. The Cult of Pleasure, what? Oh, a confederation between Nagarond and the Cult of Pleasure. Now they're even larger and more powerful. I'll have to get a treaty with them. I believe I have one already, so I don't need to worry about it. Last Defenders. Ah, the Last Defenders are having a pretty tough time. I don't know if you're the Last Defenders. There are other Defenders out here defending. Tomb Kings are fighting the Druki again. 
I love all the little panel art. I wish we could have like a collection of all of that art for wallpapers. I would let it cycle through on my desktop. Confederation. We get to go fight again. Okay, unfortunately I can't auto-resolve that one. But that is okay. We get to fight another battle. It's actually a pretty tough battle. When you think about it, it would be like fighting one faction who is sending stack after stack at you. The only difference really is that they actually have a pretty balanced stack. It's just that they don't have a full one. If they had a full one, then maybe it'd be a little bit different. But I've got every tool to trade that I need in order to beat them. I can't wait to play Salt Spite. I think she's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be fun when I add in the Southern Realms too. That'll add in El Cadavo and other characters like that. I want to replay El Cadavo's campaign, largely because we didn't have the Vampire Coast to truly fight. Now we do. Now that campaign would be even more difficult. Okay. Let's have a look at how we're going to deal with it. I know this map pretty well by now. I really, really do. I'll put you over here. Again, we don't like to have them all together, if we can help it. Okay. Deck gunners, you're kind of going to be in the middle, a bit like that. I think that'll be sufficient. Very good. We're going to have infantry up in the middle. You're going to move up. They will help you out. On the flanks, we're going to have some death guard. They, too, will help you out. I'll put some animated hulks over here on the left flank. More ghouls will be right behind, holding. Rotting Prometheans, you'll be back here, shooting and holding. That should do it. I think we got it. Look at that range. That's pretty good range. You two will be in the middle joining in too. You'll join with group number four. Yeah, go join group number four. Now that all of you are ready, let's lock up and move up. I don't have all of you yet, do I? It is true. No, 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 you just need to move over here. Just move over here. You got it. Group number four, you get to move up now, right by them. A lot like that. Deck gunners, I want you to move up. You'll have plenty of room. And Robbie the Creeper, you'll move up too. I don't want you to block him though. It's way back there. All right, so we're going to have our artillery hit what today? Their leader? Sure, we'll kill their leader. Oh, they're coming for me. And I for them. Left flank. Will you be difficult? You've got a few tough units, sure. It might be annoying. Oh, you do have the Forbidden Rod. Here, use it anyway. Sure. You can use your zombies to kind of distract them. Just a wee bit. Alright, as we do that, go patch up our units. Move back just a little bit later. We'll use a Spirit Leech on their leader. You can move back to Wendy. Okay, now we're going to use some cool stuff. Let's go look at what we have over here. Like Enchanted Ballistics. Even more damage to be done. Deck Gunners, I want all of you to fire at their leader right now. My infantry will hold. I'm going to have my Morgul's come over here to fight these Skin Wolves. And over here, Animated Hulks, they'll join in. The cool part is I've got Rotting Prometheans who could also go join in. Okay, right flank. I think we're okay. I'm going to bring in more Rotting Prometheans on the left flank. We're going to use our Shanty right now. We nearly have their leader. We don't have it yet, but we nearly have their leader. Only a few more shots and he will be gone. Okay. Replenish his ammunition. I love that so much. Such a cool ability. I'll just use it. Only got a cooldown. Use your grenade. And after that, I want every deck gunner to go after that frost worm. That frost worm has got to go. Where's our leader at? He's over here. Use a potion. Let me go look over here on the right flank. The right flank is holding on. They've got another enemy that I'm going to shoot at. Go handle that for me. Okay, Carronades, why don't you... Yeah, keep on going after their leader. They do have skin wolves coming after me. We'll have to watch out for that too. All of my major units are now going after skin wolves who are all alone. Very much alone right now. All right, there's a few of you up there. A deckhand's mob is fighting alone. I'll go in and help them out. The Frostworm is still alive. That's unfortunate. Ooh, another breath attack. Okay. So I want every deck gunner in group two to go after that Frostworm. 
Skin wolves are now moving in on my right flank. We took care of the feral mammoth. Powerful explosion. Go use that over here. You've got more zombies to bring in. I'm going to bring you up to go bring them in. Let me get, go look at what we have. I can heal up a lot of units. Let's heal up everything in the middle. Like that. Crossworm is nearly gone. I'm going to buff up. Where are they at? Nope. I'm not buffing you up. But have to be a flanking unit. But for now, let's bring in some more zombies. What about you, buddy? Another grenade? Okay. That one unit is now gone. Let's come over here and shoot some... Are they even here? They might not be here anymore. Ah, there's one of you. Grenades keep on attacking. Go after that feral mammoth. Left flank, how's it going? I think you can push in further. Go push in further. And our leader. Let's get him to go back into combat. Use your forbidden rod. Very lewd. Buff up our death guard on the right flank. Come over here and fight. We'll go after these marauder hunters who are still holding. We'll fight some sirens too. My zombies are holding out. Who's coming back here? Oh, the skin wolves are. Okay, I was wondering who's coming back here. Okay, let's go get them. We'll go get them right now. Actually, why don't I use another grenade on you? Not out of ammo, but still, might as well use it. You get my carronade, okay. I'll get another one. Skin wolves are now falling apart. The deck guns are shooting them down. They are being gunned down into nothing. Even the carronade's having a good time. All right, let's come over here now. We'll come flank more of them. The guy is still pretty darn tough. It's not like having Luther Harkon, who understandably could easily win due to his very high level. Okay, let's go after everyone who's currently fleeing. If I had a few more pole arms, that would have been much easier. So I'll probably want to change out a few of my units for pole arms. I've got a lot of large creatures who can supplement my pole arms, so I probably don't need my standard death guard. Now that I look at it a little bit further. Okay, we're gonna fast forward just a touch. Oh, we're certainly getting more. And I might change up my artillery and give him a Necrofex too. I think that would be a lot more fun. I'll keep one Carronade, but also get one Necrofex because I can afford it. Good work, my friends. Good work. Now, Death Guard are fantastic. I mean, they're able to obliterate enemy infantry. I could just use a few more of them. Well, the other option is I get rid of my pull arms for my zombies. But still, I would have a lack of pole arms to cover my front lines for me. Have the booty. Take the money. We don't need the booty. Well, we always need the booty. Admiral of the fleet. A giant blade. Very nice, my friend. Okay, Robbie the Creeper. Actually, I'll give it to someone else. I know who I want to give it to. Let's come over here. Time for battle. Time to Easy enough again. Battle over. He's much stronger now because of it. The Book of Ashuru. That's very good for magic. All right, let's bring you over into the Awakening now. Yes, Admiral of the Fleet. At rank eight, I'm going to give you upkeep would go down. Oh, that's very nice. I'll take that. Three percent. Oh, I wonder if that was like a bug then for that one pirate. I don't know what happened to him. Huh. It might be, because I'm number one now, which is understandable, because I beat everyone else. I'm at 19,000. Number two is at 9,000. All right, you can't change your stance right now. What's over here? What am I going to give you? Drowned Dead, rank three. It's an idea. Deception. No, I'm going to give you Evasion. I want you to get Arcane Conduit. Okay, Luther Harkon will be ready in one more turn. I'll have two Necrofexes. I could change up my infantry, but I kind of like my army as it is right now, so I might keep it. Death Guard are fantastic, and I want to train them up further. If I can get them into Gold Chevrons before the final battle, that would make a huge difference for me. Okay, Hagrayev, how much money do you have? You don't have, like, that much money, but you know what? I'm going to steal from you. All that you have. 
Now, Maggie, I'm going to give you evasion or actually bribery. If any enemy agents come after you, they'll have a lesser chance of actually working their evil charms on you. I could come over here to get... That's what I love about this map, too. Just check it out. We got all this stuff. I could, like, sell around if I wanted to. So if you wanted to just, like, sell around and bother people on the coastlines, beat them, and then put in coves, you could do that if you wanted to. Replenishment might eventually get fairly challenging, but... Yeah. Just a few ideas. Alright, let's go look at what I want to build now. I only own a few locations where they're not truly happy. Let's go look down here. I need more corruption. We don't have enough corruption, do we? No, we do not. Yeah. Dead pirates totems. Take it. Mosquito swamps. You don't even have enough corruption. No wonder you're unhappy. Take that too. And public order. That'll work it, man. Oh, look at who took Chotek. I'll go beat them. I can't believe they took it. They keep putting together a full army. Let's end our turn again. I'm the Dread Pirate. I wonder what I'll do for Count Noctilus. I'll probably react in the very beginning, but then have a plan of action. We'll certainly conquer elsewhere. I could raid around or fight around, get coves, come back if I want to. I'll have to focus on campaign movement range. If you had that two skill point mod, which is certainly fantastic, then you would be able to invest a lot more in your campaign abilities early on. I suppose you could even if you wanted to have like one settlement then try to do that. That might be an interesting campaign challenge or it could be tedious. I don't know. I don't know what would actually be tedious or enjoyable, but it might be an idea to try after we do all the campaigns for all the pirate lords. Okay. Let's have a look. There's Mad Dog Marty. He's not ready. He needs to recruit. I've got the money for recruitment. Time for you to pick up what I want you to get, which is going to be a Necrofex. I could give you two. That would be a lot more artillery. I like that. He'll have two. Because of that, we're going to grab some more pole arms. I don't need my animated hulks right now. There we are. That should maybe do it. Man, look at that experience in my army. That's really good. Okay, Luther, let's come over here now. We've got to go fight another enemy. I suppose we'll go by sea. I'll have to go find Destan later. He should be around here. Another Skull Reef, too. Woohoo. That'll be money. All right, that'll be it for my turn, too. Let me go look at what else we have around here. You're at tier 4. You don't really need to grow that much more. You're about to have more corruption. They're reducing my corruption, unfortunately. Let's grab more money. Tier 4 is sufficient. Maggie Black Cell. We're going to bring you out now. It's time for you to go find other ports around here. Like up here, maybe. We'll hit Ulthuan and other Norse lands in order to make more money. I did spread a bit of corruption by choice because I thought maybe if I were to have a domination campaign, it would be nice to have corruption up there already to bother my enemies, even though I know because of all their benefits, they probably won't rebel or have too many problems. But again, it's about me if I want to conquer up there. Let them do their little things. I'm not sure what happened with diplomacy, though. I mean, a lot of factions did like me. Well, I suppose I do know. We're just fighting a lot of enemies, man. We're fighting a lot of enemies that have other enemies, and those enemies of theirs like me. I cannot guarantee your safety, especially a military alliance. We don't need that. I don't hate you, but we don't need that. Hell, if I wanted to, I could even sail down there and take over some more islands. That would be the cool thing to do, I think, in some ways, is to take islands all over the world. My infamy continues to go up. 
Oh, wait, I have more than I thought. I thought I had 20. I misread that. 207,000. Dear God. I'm not sure how that panned out, but. All right. Okay. Robbie the Creeper. Are you ready, my friend? Or do you have one, one return? Okay, understood. Yes? Yes? Come over here, Luther. The cool part is we get to shoot them. A lot. Take that. Flaming attacks. Okay, take that. Luther. End of here. Magic resistance. I'll give it to our friend. Dear God, we're about to kill a lot of lizard men before I go in to fight that battle. Robbie the Creeper. One more turn for you. I'm not able to establish a cove right now, so I'm not concerned about it. At rank 10, what shall I give you? More missile damage? You do have a lot for missile damage. That is true. If I wanted to go down that route completely, that would be interesting. I might do that in the future for another character. Give them all of these skills. I have a feeling gunnery whites could be quite cool. We've had quite the iconic cast here. You know what? Take that. Effigies of undeath. Gaze upon undeath's true face and despair, mortals, for all hope be lost to you. Very nice. Destroy that. Get a swamps. What do you need over here? Let's have a look at what would be beneficial. Well, we could use more corruption. That is true. And I could use more money. I already have a financial building. Okay, well, we'll change it up then. You'll take that more money you'll take that for yep yeah, you got it more corruption everyone should be happy after that one now we get to fight a battle Luther Harkon is ready to fight a battle at Chotek Makla Gore is our enemy We're looking at a vast army of riders and infantry playing a human faction would be quite dire out here I played as El Cadaver and I became quite good at it but the turns became quite long I would play El Cadaver for a Vortex campaign. If there's like a New World character, I think I would probably want to keep them in a Vortex campaign. Because by the time you get to the end game, you'll have one already, so it's not like a huge difference. All right, let's go check out our Necrofex unit and our Rotting Leviathan too. First off, let's have our infantry hold up for me. I like to have my main lines be like about three units wide. Sirenes will support them. That lets me have another polearm unit on the flank if I want to. Two death guard over here because we have artillery platforms now. And it's much brighter today, so we'll have an easier time checking them out. Oh my god. <laughs> I've got a lot of large units, don't I? I sure do. Okay, Mortars, you'll be back here. Morgulis, you'll kind of be back here too. Gunnery White, you're going to be about here. Creepy Carry. Yeah, that'll work out. Gunnery Mob, whatever. What did I say? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Morgulis, you'll be back here, kind of guarding. Luther Archon, you'll be in Group 1. The rest of you will be in your own group. I want every major ranged unit to be in guard mode. Let's go check them out now, though, before we begin the battle. Or we can begin the battle and go into slow motion right off the bat. They are beautiful. Meat. And just a bunch of refuse. Again, they're like Gundams, man. They're just... <laughs> it's really cool. Okay, let's go shoot. Hold on, let's find something better to shoot. Like Cold One Riders, I freaking hate them. We'll kill some Croxagores. I'll have you come use your breath attack over here on that unit. Queen Bess, if you want to go after things too. Sure. Mortars, you know what to do. Rotting Leviathan. Have we really looked at you yet? Not really. Oh! Imagine being eaten by that. Oh, terrifying. I hate it. But I love it. It's all very good. Okay. Buff him up now. Time for a sea shanty. Come on, creepy carry. Let's go. 
Rotting Leviathan, they're coming over here, so go get them. Look at these shots. Ripping right through them. Go after more enemies here charging at me now. Killed a few Croxagores. Good freaking job. Luther Harkon, come back. I'm going to have you help out on the front lines or at least on my flanks while we're fighting a bunch of these riders. Now I have gunners annihilating their leader. Bomb them. Bomb them now. After you throw that, throw another one. Right over here. Slow him down. And because of his ability, I can restore ammunition, which means that Queen Bess could keep going indefinitely. I could have her fighting forever. You could do that, man. You could just sit back here, use artillery all day because that ability doesn't have any type of cooldown limitation. It's not like you can only use it once or twice. No, you can use it however many times as you want. Come over here and fight. Left flank is looking a little bit exposed right now. Sirens, come over here. I've got a rotting Leviathan on my right flank now. I'm gonna have my mortars instead come after these units. Queen Bess, you too. You'll go after them as well. Rotting Leviathan is having a fun time killing Cold One Riders. Our creepy little friend is doing a lot of damage to our enemies. Let's come over here and fight now. Necrofex, I know you're not the best in melee. That's okay. Oh god, Luther Harkon. Come on, let's go. They're hitting me. They're hitting me, buddy. So what I can do then, what I am going to do, I'm going to have you come over here and fight a little bit. I'm going to have the three of you turn around and attack. All right, while we do that, I have pole arms who will come back and attack. Oh, wait, you're not pole arms. You're just berserker. Right, right. That's fine, too. Creepy Carrie's having a fun time dancing in the middle of their bodies. Well, let's go help out my artillery, which we could actually lose right now. I don't have as much infantry holding my lines as I did before, so that is really the downside is that I can't cover all of my flanks. It's hard to go on the offensive whenever you have that many enemies coming to fight you like that. Who can flank you easily. Death Guard are having a fun time. They're gonna finish up. Let's come back here real quick. We'll go back and fight. If you wanna fight a melee, go fight a melee. Because we kinda have to. Luther Harkon's gonna fight here for now. I think that'll work out. Boost them up a bit. Okay, crew, I want you to move over here. Queen Bess, I want you back on your gun. Other mortar crew, get you back on your gun after you move away. All right, Queen Bess, why don't you go after the artillery still coming after me? Well, I guess you can't yet. Creepy Carry, come over here. Or come over here, actually. My Morgulls are having a pretty bad time. You should still be fighting. Go in and fight. Yeah, everyone has a gun. We put guns on everything. It's great. Oh, they shoot like point blank. 20 kills for you. Whatever I lose, it's okay. I can always get more of them. And I have more artillery than before, so I might actually change it up a little bit. Yep, tire them out. Queen Bess, attack over here. That's where you can really do a, a lot of damage. Yeah, shoot all these cold ones. There's so many of them. That's why the bounce of power is not always indicative of how strong an enemy might be. Sometimes, yeah, they're going to be pretty bad. They're going to be pretty darn bad. Let's go finish off more of them. Another group just came after me. Come over here and get them. What about you? What do you have going on? Well, why don't you bomb this group? Bomb that group too. Shoot this group. Let me go look. All of you should be shooting right now. Screaming Sallies or Sirens. Come over here. My gunners are still fighting. We're about to win. My Death Guard were able to hold the front lines. That's really what they're there for is to hold the front lines for me. While everyone else is fighting. The more ghouls, I believe, were wiped out. Yeah, that's true. And my mortars. Now, they're in a town, so it doesn't matter too much. But Necrofexes are pretty darn cool. Check out that range damage. That is a lot. Not even fully buffed up, either. They're able to fire pretty fast. Okay, Luther got how many kills? 63. It's just that he's not able to be everywhere. All right. With that banner, he has a chance to inflict flaming attacks, too. That could be very good against other undead. So I did lose my Morgulls. Those were new. The mortars were from the very beginning, but hey, it happens, man. They had a lot of mounted units. That's really their only strength. So in, in the future, I'll probably make sure that I cover my artillery a little bit better. The vampire coast prevails. 
Okay, so we're gonna take what today? Really gain now, infamy. We move again I'm putting in a cove. You're not gonna make me a lot of money. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spread some corruption here. Yeah, we're gonna bring you back. Didn't quite level up. Another ship upgrade available, right? Take that now then, get to tier three, and we can end our turn. I'll have Mad Dog Marty go back out there. It's gonna be great though that we are spending time fighting a little bit more, getting a few more battles done, prepping up our main army. Man, if you really wanted to fight the Druki, it would be a long war. I personally think the hybrid approach for Horde Factions is really ideal. I think it's a much better idea than just having shit up Hordes alone. Give them their domiciles. It just offers more gameplay opportunities than limiting you. Yeah, Clan Pestilence, they're all over the map right now. It's hard for me to distinguish their color from mine on the mini-map. I'm like trying to look at it carefully. Ooh, Claire Karand and Harganath. They're fighting. Claire Karand is not fighting Nagaron the too. King is no pawn. I will end you. Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if I want to cut it. Oh, you want to fight me? I've got a lot of allies. I'm not going to call them in, but... What a really bad idea, pal. Okay, now it's back to 21,000. Okay, so yeah, it's just sleeping around. I did a misread. <laughs> Either way, you know that we're number one. Okay, I've got my Necrofexes, and we're going to go find Gentleman Jenkins, level up Mad Dog Marty. He should be able to get a new office soon. If not now, I'll check that out in a minute. All right, let's come back over here now. We need to go patch up. I'm trying to think about what I want. I had my pole arms. Instead, I'll limit my front line to two units wide. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll want something that can hammer my enemies. I've got plenty of artillery. I'm not worried about artillery anymore. I've got too much of it. Okay, not everyone is happy yet. Why are you not happy? Lack of corruption. Okay. Well, I'm working on that now. I've given you a lot. It's only so much that I can do, I suppose. Take that and deal with it, I suppose. Public order goes up. I lose infamy per turn, but again, it doesn't matter. I've got a lot of infamy. Yeah, we'll just give you that. Let me go look over here then. Okay, recruitment cost goes down by 10%. That's what I want. Corruption is still going up over here. That's what we need. Public order is going up too. That would be more money. I'll take that. We're trying to make more money. It feels good, though, not having to conquer the map. I can't really emphasize enough to all of you how great that is for me to get choices. I get so much choice now in how I want to approach campaigns. I could have a campaign where I do conquer on land. I could have a campaign where I only conquer coastal locations. I could have a campaign where I have only one town, and I just go out and I fight treasure battles nonstop. And because of the quick turns in the Vortex campaign, that would be okay, because I could get my action done, then end my turn, because at times it takes time to tra to um, traverse over the water. It'll take like a turn or two, three, four. I mean, you can't really do too much other than just move. What act do you offer? Can I help you? No. <laughs> you don't get that. You're kind of aggressive and unreliable. You're very violent. Yeah, I think for Direfin, I would probably wait for the Southern Realms mod to be updated. Then I would try that out. I think that would be cool. Defensive, yeah, we could do that. Then we would be able to fight some interesting mercenary units with her. Oh my. Look who's coming to play. I'm gonna have my Necrofexes, well, I need to look at their range again. We need to look at their stats in more detail. That's what I need to do. I do like his army. It's got like a standard format. I like the idea that everyone's like, okay, we're gonna fight a battle. Let's just land, get all prepped up and go fight. Well, if there's a Port Royale, where's Royale at? 
Two mortars and a cannon. Ooh. Begin deployment. 330. Okay, so not incredibly long in range. Not incredibly long, but that's okay too. Sirens, you're actually going to make up my front line. You've got a physical resistance of 85%. I don't want all of my infantry together. Not all bunched up. We're going to kind of stagger it. I'm going to actually... I think I'm going to move forward. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to move forward. Running Prometheans, you guys are pretty sturdy. I'm going to have you come up too. Come over here for now. Running Prometheans, you're going to be over here helping out all my flanks. More ghouls, you're going to be back here. I'm going to see where I'm going to move you, depending on how the battle plays out. Necrofexes, I'm going to leave you back here, but you're going to move up too. Who am I missing now? The leadership, okay. Wendy? Right flank. Mad Dog Marty? There, okay. So you three go into guard mode. All of you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're good now. Let's move up. Artillery, I'm gonna have you go after their artillery. So go after their great cannon. We'll go hit their great cannon. Bring in your zombies, we can bring them in now. We might as well do that now, try to draw their attacks. Come on, buddy, let's go. Go in. Wait, they can fire while moving. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I like that. Well, I know what I'm doing today. Firing while moving. Go launch a grenade at someone. You've got more grenades to move up. Come on. Let them do what they will. Okay, let's get all my infantry in now. This should be really good. You'll come around. You guys aren't that fast, but I can get you to go around anyway. Come over here. All right. Artillery, are you hitting the great cannon? You are hitting the great cannon. Good. Zombies, come over here. She's going to bring them in. What about our good friend nearby? Oh, there's a few of you who are being hit. Hold on. Let's come over here real quick. We got this guy to go kill. Their leader's coming in after my deck gunners. Very rude. I'm gonna go heal my deck gunners now. You're not getting them. Get away. We'll go take out the general of the empire. My infantry's already won. They broke through. Let's go after other enemies now. We'll go after their mortars too. Yeah, go get them. You got it. All right, fine. You can go after them a little bit more. More ghouls come over here. Go kill them. If you want to go chase after more, go chase after more. You got it. We've won the battle. The battle's over. Let me go look at my necrofexes. 188, 144. Those kills are tremendous. It's a lot of kills. All right, great cannon. Go after their great cannon. Or carronade. Go after their great cannon. There it is. They're very accurate. My mech Gundams, my undead mech Gundams. And again, I can replenish all their ammo. Oh wait, it does have a limitation, my bad. I'll correct myself, I thought it didn't. I misunderstood it, or I misread it rather. It's enchanted ballistics that has a limitation, but still, four times total, that's a lot. I know a few people will probably correct me before they get to this part, which is understandable. I did misread my mistake. The Gunnery White is still a new character for me. We got him in like the last quarter. Firing and moving though, that's tremendous. I think I did read that, but it didn't really like click in my head until I saw the move and fire. So we went on the offensive. They had artillery, we charged in, we broke them so quickly to where I lost only 19 in that entire battle. We're gonna finish them off now. 
Who took Skeggy from me? Ooh, she's been burning things down a lot. She's making me mad because of it. All right, Mad Dog Marty, we're gonna give you combing and preservative. Take care of your ship, and she will have a care for your well-being in return. Upkeep goes down. You can finish off, buddy boy. Very easy. We do lose a lot, but very easy. We lost more auto-resolving than we did in actually fighting it. Yeah, come on back. All right, rank ten. Forger. Oh, it'll lock the rest. Okay. More missile damage. I don't mind that. We've got a lot, but I think I'm going to take Smuggler. Because duty to be paid, rest assured that this one will find a way around it. Then we have rank 12 over here. I'm going to give you Earthing. I don't want you miscasting on me when I overcast. Creepy Carry, our very creepy friend. Take your Haunter of the Dark. Say something. Back to your ranks. Let's go back over here. We got to figure out what we want to add into our army. I'm certainly going to need a bigger type of infantry to help out. Let's go look at what that might be. More sirens would be great for their physical resistance. I would like that a lot. Yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Two more turns. Oh, right. I have my debuff right now because we're still waiting for that. <laughs> Which means I've been fighting with a debuff the entire time. All right, now let's go look at what we want. I want, I think, 10. Oh, yeah, that would give me a lot more. Within this ornate sarcophagus of blackened oak, Harkon plots his return. Perhaps a name for an even greater vessel to come. What? What? <laughs> a greater one, you say? Yeah, recruiting is great, but since I have my base of operations here, I haven't gone down that route. I've gotten a bunch of skills over here. I mean, theoretically, I could have gone down that route, but... I like having all my benefits, like being able to move further. I could have my upkeep go down, but no, I think we're going to come over here and get that one. My income will go by 5%. My replenishment will go by 10%, and we'll get a lot of vampiric corruption in the local area. So I'm going to wait for that one. All right, I've got money. Let's go spend it. I'll take you. I'll take you. That'll do it. What else do I want over here, though? That is a good question. I've got choices, man. 19 out of 20. I only have one group of Morgulls if I... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Even though I like these guys over here, they're very armored. They can hold for a time. But I like my Morn Ghouls a lot, so we're going to take them too. Okay. Captain, Maggie. Let's get you moving now. Are you me? Yeah, a little bit. Alright, Mad Dog, which one will I give you now? Physical resistance of 50%. Very nice, okay. My heroes and lords would have a much higher rank. Dear God. Upkeep goes down. Yeah, there's really good stuff over here, huh? All right. Well, I'm not getting a new hero right now, so I'm going to give you that. Fleet Secretary. Enjoy, Mad Dog Marty. It's in their turn again as we get ready. Lothern and Safari have confederated. You can see that a lot of factions in Ulthawan are going to have a tough time. I wonder if the Druki are really giving it to them up north or not. I don't believe they are. I don't believe that's happening right now. I wish it was happening. That would be great if it was happening, but I don't believe it is. Thorakai. What a name. A tongue twister. What I would like personally is like having expeditions of old world factions come into this map. I think that would be really cool. You begin on a ship, you either land somewhere. That would be really interesting, I think. Maybe events from back home where you get new stuff, like a steam tank. They ship one in for your expedition. That would have actually thematically really suited the Vortex game since we do have separate games like Warhammer 1 and 2. Ooh, more campaign moving range. Good for you, Marty. Alright, Marty, where are we going to move you now? 
Dear God, Teclas, what are you doing to everyone? Being very rude. I have one more turn until I can get that vault completed. My madness is not weakness. One more turn until I get a bit more growth. Could go either way. Utility belt. Take that. I'm not going to give you your rotting Promethean yet. Booty. Indeed, booty. Okay. Curse my crowded psyche. Do more fighting you. Did I lose anyone completely? I did not. Easy and good training. More gold. We'll take it and look at that replenishment. Fan freaking tastic. Okay. Let's have a look real quick at what else we have. What else I want. Well, I could work my infantry. That'll make them even more powerful. That's my other goal too, is to get them to rank seven. If I can get all these abilities over here, my God, we'll be so much more powerful. Missile resistance and more armor and more melee attack. Dear God, I'm taking that. Rank seven and above. Okay, he's currently at rank seven. Maybe only in battle. Okay. We'll let him wait there. While you're doing that, Mad Dog Marty, where am I going to have you go? Depends on where there's another pirate. I do want that Blood Reaver deck guard. Let's go after this guy. Stone of Short Shafen. That'd be really far away, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I guess we're going. Yes. Mad Dog Marty, time for a trip, buddy. I don't usually send you on long voyages, but today you're going. Because I want that unit. That's what I mean, though. To actually get out there, if I had only one army, it would take me a very long time, so I can only end turns because of that. All right, you're going to heal up. You have one more turn. What about... Did I move her already? I did not. Maggie, let's go. We'll go check out other locations and try to get more money. Like over here, what do you have? 511, that isn't a lot. Let me look at what I can develop in my few lands that I do have. More corruption in adjacent locations, I'll take that. More over here, oh yeah. Public is looking fine. So now we're making over 5,200 despite having two stacks. I could probably get a new leader if I made like 3,000 more gold per turn. That would cover a lot because you still want enough gold left over to do other things. Of course, I mean, I could just get a bunch of treasure battles going sequentially and that would permit me to afford that. You wouldn't really need to worry about that, about income if you just went after treasure. So like there's a few options in how you played. Here's how I play though. Like everyone has their own style and I know there's options, but here's how I play. Feels weird having buddies. I love it. I kind of hope that's the norm, though. I feel like at times you should have a good buddy. Why would they fight me? They're fighting Teclas, man. And Tomb Kings. Or in that case, with Halida, a Tomb Queen. And Itza's just been a freaking fort in the middle of Lustria, which feels somehow very appropriate for the Lizardmen. They're on the defensive, not quite winning, but not quite losing completely either. Back in business. Ah, here we go. I'm on R, can I help you? The bad took over. The Kraken's pool. Yep, come on down. You got it, buddy. At your rank, I'm going to give you more missile damage. At your rank, my friend, I want you to be a much higher level than you are right now. Let's bring you out, though. There we go. We're not fully healed up, but it's okay. Let's go look at our rights. Okay, I've got to build... Three plunder pile buildings. So that's another way to make a lot of money. You could even focus on that, which I have not done so. But I could. I could. Let me go look over here real quick at my building browser. Okay, so it's got to be a major capitals. No wonder. All right, let me go look at what I got. I don't think I have one in each one. Yeah, I don't have one over here. I just Ah, right, right. I destroyed it. Now, if they come over here and they take down my walls, I'd be very sad. I'll deal with the loss of public order. Yeah. 
I would have to get rid of a trade good, which I'm not really willing to do right now either. There's a few tough choices around me for all that. What it is. All right, so I've done like almost everything I can do outside of coming over here to get another port. Got it. Let's go. She's ranked 10. Oh, there we go. 30% cheaper for a cove. Let's go grab what do you have over here? 200 per, right? We'll grab another one. We can end our turn again. I have coves all over the world. I have a amazing information network. They're not cheap, but they're cool to have. And there's still some rather powerful Dark Elven factions. I love seeing that too. I wonder if like Confederation should have like preset requirements outside of just like the diplomatic reliability of a faction or how weak they are at that given time. If maybe you have to like fulfill a few things like missions would be interesting. Whether you take out their leader, whether you do something to help them. Give it like more of a umph, more of a challenge. Then you gain a lot. It would be a way to slow down conquest too, to just like conquer things. Yeah, I might have to come down here later to start killing some high elves, man, because they're taking a lot. Eats is still holding on. And we cannot get Queen Bess again. That isn't doable. Pistols ready. This is ill advice. We're making how much from coves now? 5,600. It's going up. Horde of booty. Again, all about the booty. And over here, let's go grab that plunder pile. It's not like a ton of gold, but we might as well try out the right. I think that'll be fun. Let's come on down here, because I'm trying to train up all of his soldiers. His melee soldiers. Oh, very easy. Okay. I'm going to take the replenishment. Helps me out a little bit. 8,000 gold for that. Fantastic. Alright, I'll have to do some encampments on land if I want to heal up, I suppose. Alright, let's go take what's over here. Ooh, magic resistance goes up further. That's insane, man. I'll take that from my artillery. Insourced weapons. We'll take that. Let's go look over here now. We best can really use it. Gotcha, gotcha. Pull the quarter. Not really worried about that. Mad Dog Marty's still moving down to go fight another pirate. That's a huge danger. But then again, I suppose that's like the inherent nature of selling out there alone. <laughs> it's pretty dangerous, yeah. All right, I'm going to upgrade everything that I have. Get this walls up. Not my emotional walls, just my physical walls. <laughs> so, Slan Gold. We'll have a lot of cinematics and battles to fight. They'll all be in like one part, and I think that'll be like convenient for people too. Oh my god, you got a pretty major high level agent. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that would be cool too. Then you have like one part where if you want to go back and see like all the stuff that came out, then you got it all there, all right there. A rat cankered. <laughs> a cankered rat. Now the map is developing in such a weird way. Like even Lustria, after all these turns, is still a war torn continent. Dear God, is it ever. Blue Vipers are holding on. Oh man. Early game Savage Orcs are pretty darn tough. Look at that. I also wanted to wait to get more stuff done. A new right unlocked. Let's go take it. 500 gold per. It's got a cooldown, but hey, it's a little boost of gold that you didn't otherwise have. All right, let's go look at what else we can pick up. That would be really good for my. Let's see. More goals? That's magic resistance. I've got plenty of that already. What's over here? Ward save for one unit. That could be interesting. I could help out that one unit. First mate. Okay, more campaign movement. Very cool. Bonus versus infantry. That could be handy. Lowering upkeep is good too. 
plus three to the large. That's all right. I mean, that adds up, I'm sure. Let's grab... Hold on. Ooh. Steadier aim, more range. I like that, too. A powder monkey would be really good. 15 armor piercing for gunnery mobs. Well, guess what? I have gunnery mobs. And I love them. I think they're fantastic. Okay, if I need to heal up, let's head over here and land for a minute. Anywhere else I can go? Not really. Still neutral. What if I come over here? Oh, no, you don't own that land yet. I'm trying to find some friendly lands, but it looks like Mazamundi kicked them all out. It's very rude of you, Mazamundi. All right, you're not quite at the rank that I want you to be at. You still have some more training to do for your infantry, so let's move you back real quick. Into our lands. There we go. I'm going to give you melee defense again. Let's make sure that you have all the stuff that you can pick up. You can't use a ranged weapon. I'm going to give you an opal amulet. You're going to pick up. What else are you going to pick up? Depends. I can give you that double barrel. That'll be great for your damage. You don't have any armor to pick up. It's not a lot of booty that we're finding, though. Amazingly enough. Okay, at level 8, we're going to give you what then? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Always ready. Okay. Let's have a look around here for my mosquito swamps. I've got gold still, a lot of gold. I'm going to go ahead and up that gold now. Get all of that up. Maggie's going to move out. We're trying to get that special unit of Death Guard, our regiment of renown. Oh, that'll be good for later. How much? Not too much. I'll be able to get that next turn. Or I cancel a building or two. An upgrade or two. We'll leave it alone. Okay, so we are going to call it here. I think what we'll do, if I do one more part for today, we'll end up doing the Slant Gold one and still conquering out more. You can tell me what you think my goals should be. Then, for sure, tomorrow, we do the final battle. We show off all the cinematics because I'll be allowed to and all that. And, uh, yeah, so leave a like and comment down below. Look forward to more content later. And, as always, until then, and a huge shout-out to all of my patrons. One dollar a month goes a long way for me. <laughs> all right, everyone. Later.